go what is good everybody welcome back to the channel for today's video we're back on the gopro and we're back pov driving the integra if you don't know i recently removed the turbo kit sold it off went back on motor and been having a blast driving this car yesterday i got it aligned now the car drives straight i got my high racing full size radiant on it i got a custom three inch exhaust with a blocks turned down bro all it needs is to be tuned, but I I loaded my old map on it and it's been driving fine on that map, surprisingly. So we're gonna take a trip to the homie Rob's. I gotta pick up some signal light brackets for the front bumper. And then, yeah, we'll just chill. Just have a little chill uh, vlog style type day today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yes, what this might be, bro. My 1050M alpha injection injectors have a rock. Oh my God. Look at this. Oh my God. Dude, do you see my logo? Do you see that? Oh shoot. Fam, I'm not sure if you guys see this. That is incredible. We're gonna talk more about this when we get home today. Let's let, bro, oh, uh, dude. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. That was the first time I unboxed the package and I had these for like a week now and I just saw, um, I, I didn't even know my logo was on the uh, packaging of the injectors. That is insane. All right, let's skedaddle.
full-size radiator is working so good that my temps I'm running no thermostat and my temps like every time I'm cruising and driving it goes down that low to where like I can't even pop VTEC so I think before I tune I'm gonna have to swap in a thermostat which kind of sucks I don't want to but it looks like I'm not gonna I'm gonna have no choice but to because the car runs way too cool with a um, without a thermostat which is insane to say insane to say that small fan with the relay on it to really give it the full power with the full size radiator with nothing obstructing it is it, it's it's running way too cool it's insane bro and florida heat it's hot as shit outside and it's doing all that that's crazy car drove phenomenal oh man i love this shit pulled up to rob's place of business bit man that bit rob got the gray sport outside the white one ah man bit, let me hold some bro so like i told y'all i uh needed these so i can bolt in my turn signals oh shit i might well take them two things rob baby he don't need them Whoa, let me go ahead and pull these right off baby my nigga <laughs> But yeah, I needed these things because I don't have them. And then on eBay, they want like a hundred and like sixty dollars shipped. You gotta be out. Uh, you sick. The old Integra that lives. Let me get the Woods, Woods, Ben. This shit garbage. I gotta rebuild. Are they leaking from the seals? Uh, it was leaking out of the the bleeder screw on one of them. Oh yeah. And then it like destroyed it all. Oh uh, yeah, the paint. You gotta. So, gonna, sure gotta yeah. so what'd you do for your tuck again? For your headlight tuck? On that you, side, that's been like that. You did it. You cut up. You oh, it. I see what you, Oh, shit. So you cut the hole through there. Yeah. And uh, that, see, that's what I did. But on that side, which is where I fucked up at, when I did the tuck on mine, it's not done, I right? cut a hole through here yeah. instead of on the other side. That's oh, where I messed right up here. at. Like, yeah, even I'm this not. is the, like, the sock shit just plugs right back in. It comes out right here. It's not done yet, but. I still gotta like seal it. Shit. Shouldn't be that bad, bro. Shouldn't be that bad, bitch. I come do it. Yeah, right. Holla at your boy. My shit had more holes in it. Came out with. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just gotta give you guys a quick little overview before we head home of the car, bro. Just like look how good it looks. Oh, oh, the UKDM tails. Oh my, this car is beautiful. All right, let's go home. I left my car on. What else is new?
those racing wheels, dude. Damn, I wonder what happened. have passed because bro somehow i got i needed a little nap <laughs> weird but uh anywho we're gonna go ahead and start by removing the bumper As you guys see, it's possible to remove your bumper with still having the sweater on. I've never done that before without my sweater having to come off with it. But, uh, nope. I think what I'm gonna actually do is go ahead and tighten this up because this thing is actually kind of loose. And I, I left it loose for a reason because I like um, being able to like turn it, take it in and turn it off. But I think it's time for me to actually tighten this thing. I'm in the field like I'm Julio Jones I'm catching for free No, you can't get on my song I'm perp right now and I'm gone I got two bitches, they get along I got niggas with buddies They'll shoot up your home you type on So, I have to run out to Home Depot To pick up some screws Cause when you buy them off the Ebays They don't come with screws Which makes sense to like Whenever you buy something Sometimes they don't come with the hardware So, we gotta run to Home Depot Get the screws And then we'll be able to have Signal lights back on the Integra. God dang, this looks beautiful. This looks great. These splitter brackets actually come from Max Peating Rods. Isn't that insane? Yep, I am having some Max Peating Rods product on my Integra. But these splitter mounts are by far the best that you can get. And I love this style of the uh, splitter brackets. So your boy had to do what he had to do to get these more sucks. All right, but I think it would be pretty cool to like actually chassis mount the splitter so I can like stand on it if I want to, have some rigidity to it. Uh, maybe we'll do that one of these videos, who knows. Good thing I made it to where I needed to go. Now it's raining and I have no windshield wipers. Oh, help me please. I feel like it's hailing, dude. That's some loud ass rain. Jesus, that John loud as AF, dude. Oh, I mean my splitter getting wet. Oh, time to see if I treated it properly. Damn, it's raining like crazy, bro. Shit, I gotta be careful. It looks so nice though. I can't stand it, bro. I got no gas. Full send where? With no gas. Bumble Claude. Me have to get home. Me have to get home. Me have to get home. Me have to get 
like this because I'm gutted. I have no idea. Good thing I ain't got no cold air intake. I would have been. <laughs> home and it's like the thunderstorm is going I don't even know dude because over there it's like oh it's nice it's nice and then over here is like oh it's stranger things but that was a crazy little ride I had, dude it had to be hailing there ain't no like no dents nothing nothing cracked the spoiler nothing that day that was insane but I got what I needed which is right here so if you don't know the corner light screws that screws into the bumper is an M4 by 0 0.7 by 35 millimeters. So we need to install our signal lights. And we're money, we back in the game, player. Unfortunately, I cannot put on my bumper with the splitter on because it hits this when I do at a, when I have it at the angle. So what I'm gonna have to do is remove the splitter, put this back on, then attach the splitter like before and I tried to avoid that. The only way I could avoid that is if I just remove my Mayhem Metalworks bar, but that ain't happening fam. I'd rather remove the splitter so I gotta loosen up the 419 millimeter nuts on the end, loosen up the brackets, take the bracket off, well take the whole splitter off, put the bumper on, then put the splitter everything back on. But look at those clear signal lights, yeah. All we need is paint. All we need is paint and we're in the game. But I do hope you guys enjoyed the POV of this video. If you did enjoy the video and all the integral content that's soon to follow, hit the like button, subscribe. I also received something in the mail today that we're gonna do an install video on and that is the Mac Lifter Kit rear bumper support stuff because we got some saggy booty action. You see this right here? You see this saggy booty drop right here? Yeah, the Mac Lifter Kit fixes that. I think it's worse on this side too. I think this side is got it. Yeah, look at this. Look how bad it is on this side. So the mallet is gonna like, bro, it's gonna clean all that up. So we're gonna be installing that fairly soon on the channel. But before it becomes Hurricane Katrina 4.0, let's go ahead.